What's going on guys? My name is Marcel. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. Today we're going to dive into office wear slash workwear. The year 2020 has changed a lot of things in our life. We were home for a long time, we were working from home, but now we're back to the office. And what exactly does that look like? Hopefully this video is going to help you with that. And for that, I invited one of my homies that you likely know from Instagram and TikTok, my boy Trey Bryant. Come on in, bro. How are you doing, man? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see, good to see, see fresh you. Today, uh, you know, we're it's like it's like almost as if we kind of thought this through and as if we're gonna walk them through like eight different outfits right now showing them what that could be like which we are yeah which we are and I'm very excited <laughs> for that. so we're doing uh, comfortable what it means to stay comfortable in office wear then we're gonna explore what a suit can look like in the office nowadays then casual and a bit more upscale casual but before we dive into that a little bit more about Trey. I want to give him like a couple lines about who you are and what you do on social media. Yeah, absolutely, guys. My name is Trey Bryan Style on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. So I do men's fashion like Marcel. So I make videos about how to increase your style from grooming, from dressing, to even talking to girls at the same time. Some of you may know me from TikTok. That's usually where I make a lot of videos all the time. And Instagram as well. That's where I make my dapper content. I'm 28 and I'm from Augusta, but right now I live in Atlanta. And that's something we're gonna talk about aside from different complexions. So what colors are we gonna choose for our workwear? Um, how's the location that we live in, New York, Atlanta, gonna impact some of those choices? So like I said, eight outfits, starting with the comfortable one. So why don't you walk us through your fit number one, bro? So with this fit that I have on today, understand that I know a lot of us are coming out of the pandemic. And in that situation you have on, you can be used to being more comfortable at home wearing sweatpants. Now understand, in certain situations you still may want to do that, but going back to work, we want to elevate a little bit. So obviously I have on a white shirt, that gives you the ability to be able to wear that in any situation because I think for all work wear code, you're going to have on a white dress shirt it's or white shirt. You got to have it. Like, exactly. <laughs> and so instead of doing your gray sweatpants that you had at home in your house, you can do a more stylistic one, like a more tailored fit, like these ABC joggers that I have on from Lululemon. This gives you that ability to still be a little bit comfortable at work, but at the same time, you still look more put together. Then I paired them with these white sneakers with a tan gum bottom to still give you that sporty look at the same time of being comfortable and it's perfect for the fall weather too yeah big fact so i think the sneaker was something that we used to not see so much in workwear it'd be like absolutely a no-go that i think even changed before 2020 but it's it, like trey said as long as you keep it nice and fit it then you're gonna still look good and put together on my side of this screen we've got another option that's going to keep you comfortable in terms of pants these are traveler pants from zara they have that classic look, they have the jogger upper, but they're very stretchy and that's gonna offer you that comfort. I chose to pair them with penny loafers, not sneakers. For one, because I noticed I don't have a pair of simple black sneakers in my closet, so I couldn't really do that. But loafers towards the uh, late summer, early fall, I think is still a great option to go in terms of footwear. Comfort, neither here or there, but the comfort's coming through the pants. Up top, I've got from H&M a polo instead of a woven. So the woven is nice and crispy and then the rest of the outfit is very comfortable, but a woven is never quite as comfortable as a knit. In this case, this long sleeve polo. And then I just threw up top a sport jacket from J. Crew. <laughs> Completely forgot. For a nice, you know, darker based outfit and then add a little bit of fun in with this uh, sport coat. So as you can see, we both kind of tended to go for the bottoms in terms of comfort right. right and i think that also you went with the knit because we're getting into fall obviously right now and that's perfect for the fall to wear a knit and it plays in the comfortable i mean pers personally i love wearing knits in the fall winter time because you just got that extra stretch it's, yeah. you know it's cool a little comfort a little heat <laughs> and with that said let's check out outfit number two so now with this one, we understand that there's gonna be people who are still wearing suits in a lot of different work environments. So you have two different styles right here. Me, I went with a slightly less dapper one, but still dapper at the same time with a simple popover, breaking up the suit from doing these pinstripe pants that are part of a suit that I have, and then going with a loafer, a brown loafer. I always think that going into work environments, a easy style combo that's a little bit actually monochromatic is doing a light blue shirt with more of a navy uh, yeah. navy trousers or you're swapping it up either way yeah so on the note of blue i uh, for me there's three things that i did about classically wearing a suit 
that I would do now. For one, one thing that I always have kind of taught you guys is have fun with the suit. Just because it's a suit doesn't mean it has to be boring. Doesn't mean that a navy suit is boring. It can be very versatile. But in this case, I'm wearing from Paul Smith a nice checkered um, suit with some brown in there. And I'm picking up on that brown in the turtleneck. So I ditched the dress shirt just like he did but I replaced it with a knit once again. Fall is coming, very excited for my knits. And then lastly, I swapped out the dress shoes for dress boots. These are the Ankari Floors Split Toe Boots, easily swapped out for a pair of Chelsea's or whatever you want, really. But I think this is already where we're getting a little bit into the differentiation between like what you can maybe wear in New York versus somewhere in Atlanta. Like in New York, nobody's necessarily gonna look at you if you come showing up in a suit that's kind of loud, right? In Atlanta, I think it's more or less like you're gonna go slightly a little bit more casual when you go to work. Just because most of the time you're not gonna see um, everybody walking in suits like you would in Atlanta right. like you do in New York. If you do have a, you break it up into a suit separate or you make it a little bit differently like I did, but with the trousers, you're still making a statement with the pinstripe as well. Right, so um, to actually circle back obviously, this is not a very Wall Street look either. I think there's, yeah. you know, if we're talking very strict dress codes, then this video is probably not for you guys. But you can always just take what works for you and leave the rest. So if a pattern suit or even pinstripes might be a little bit too much for you, then just go by the color, but you can still take the concept of wearing it with a popover shirt or wearing a turtleneck instead of a dress shirt to make your work outfits just a little bit more relaxed and a little more casual, which is a lot more of the vibe that we're seeing these days. So for fit number three, if you're heading to the office but you really wanna keep it casual, what does that look like? For me, it means a Oxford shirt, which is a nice balance between very casual but still dressy. An Oxford shirt looks good untucked, and if you keep it clean and white, then you've got a nice base layer. It also means a pair of chinos. For me, these are from Paige. Um, the Oxford is from Uniqlo, by the way great staple for a really affordable price. And then now I'm wearing my sneakers. First couple rounds I skipped out, but I think a sneaker is still a great piece to have in your fall wardrobe, even as it pertains to the office. And then to make that a little bit more fun, a little bit more weather appropriate, a quilted jacket. This one is from H&M from last season, so don't go looking for it on the website right now. Nice earth colors against that crisp white, uh, definitely casual but that was the whole point of it, right? So significantly more casual than the suits we just looked at. But what does casual look like for Mr. Trey Bryant style? So for me, one thing I really liked about and with these outfits being more casual is the difference between uh, what we're talking about as far as like color and uh, location. With Marcel, chose to go with the quilted jacket because obviously in New York, it's going to be much colder than it's gonna be in Georgia in your fall weather. I would decide to go with a navy field jacket because it's still an elevated look, but it's still keeping you casual at the same time with more of a light fit that's from H&M. Instead of going with the button down Oxford shirt, I decided to go with a gray neutral knit um, that pretty much keeps you warm at the same time, perfect for the fall. And then I went with some denim instead of khakis. Now this is a stylish way to wear your khakis in this style combo, but I think when we get back into that conversation that you were saying earlier about different complexions, I'm always gonna go with more of a darker, still professional color at the same time, still being casual. I just love wearing navy. I think navy right. is just a color that looks good, particularly on somebody with my skin type, my skin tone. So that's just a color I'm just always gonna gravitate. So if you're a guy that's maybe looking for a color that you can gravitate towards, wearing in many different ways, I always go with navy. Went back to the sneakers as well. It works for guys if you're really in the office, you're on computers a lot, you're comfortable with shoes, you got on jeans, and if you decide to leave work, you have a date after work or anything like that, they completely work for it. Yeah, so I wouldn't necessarily say wear this to a meeting, but if you're heading into the office, you still look put together, but you're doing your own thing and you look presentable. To go off of what Trey just said, like once you find that color that suits you, you can really create an entire wardrobe of essentials that go together. So you have noticed maybe that my pieces we're leaning a bit more into the earth color range and for Trey, it's been a lot more of the navy and uh, blue tones against some white. And I think if you kind of find what works for you in terms of complexion and what you what your preference is, then you can really make those um, selections in a color range that's gonna automatically allow you to mix and match those pieces very easily. So getting into the more colder months, I think that's kind of what you see right now. The big essential piece that we have on right now is the overcoat. The overcoat is literally, I think, one of the best jackets that I just, I, I love wearing them. I'm, I'm, yeah, I will wear them all the time. And so with this, I think a automatic go-to combo, you know, is gonna be a turtleneck with an overcoat. You, you can't go wrong with that. And I think especially when it gets into maybe the end of October, November and December months of the year, that 
that's something you can go to at work and you can wear at work and after work as well. For me, I have on more of a lighter fit overcoat and this one is from Suit Supply. It also is belted. I love those. Double breasted and belted is always a go-to for, vibe for it. My turtleneck is from H&M. Turtlenecks from there are affordable to the point, easy. Yeah, they're good. They are. What? <laughs> they are. <laughs> um, but yeah, affordable go to, you know, and they have a bunch of different colors yeah. too. My chinos that I have on, and we didn't even get hit on chinos, I feel like that much either, but. Yeah, I mean, a little bit with my last look, but yeah. Right. But yeah, not yet. You're right. Yeah. Well, chinos. Yeah, but <laughs> I, have, I also have ch gray chinos on. I feel like that. You need those. Like you can wear that with any different outfit, no matter if you decide if you can be. It can be for work or it can be for your night evening as well. These are from a brand called Taylor, and my shoes are double monk strap that are from Thursday Boots, and they're a chocolate color on them. So I try to tie it all in. Most of the time, you see Marcel in this video wear more earth tones. I kind of been going for more earth tones and neutrals in this particular outfit. Yeah, absolutely. And I actually got some navy on. So we talked about chinos a little bit. I think there's a note to be made about. Uh, him wearing gray chinos versus my uh, tan chinos that I was wearing before playing into the earth colors just generally a bit more but while the gray lends itself nicely to the navy but also this earth color combination but um, I think another great fall essential just in general but also for the office is a pair of raw denim jeans like the ones I'm wearing right now these are slim fit from Club Monaco a little bit on the pricier side but raw denim is a high quality fabric that's really gonna one keep you warm and two last a long time and three I think it's just a really nice simple color and it's a jeans, so they're very, very versatile. For me, I didn't go for a turtleneck again because I already did that, so I um, went for a quarter zip, which is also from H&M, uh, ironically, in black. What I like about quarter zips is just that little bit of hardware detail. I think it gives it a nice little edge, and um, obviously you can adjust this a little bit or not. So you can, you have something to play with. It's a little bit more flexible than a turtleneck, but I think a turtleneck is just generally a bit more versatile. Um, in terms of the overcoat, you said it, brother. Uh, Double-breasted all the way. This one is from uh, Express. Significantly thicker than what uh, Trey is wearing right now, but the colors actually kind of go together. I feel like I'm just right, right in that realm with you. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> for the shoes, I chose to go for the suede Chelsea boots. This can be any Chelsea boot, but um, just be mindful of the colors. So I went for a black one to match the color of the top underneath the coat. So once again, a very dark, muted base for the outfit and then that lighter color coat. I don't know if I mentioned that this is from Express and just a little bit of a light contrast against the darker base of the outfit which I think can make for a nice, a bit more upscale, casual option for your office wear. Do we want to tell them anything else? <laughs> what do you, as personally, I always want to know, what do you like, you like a turtleneck more, but what is the situation that you would wear uh, a quarter zip and not a turtleneck? I don't know. <laughs> I, no, 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 that's, this is good, this is good. I, I don't know. Um, I think generally they're a bit easier, maybe if I know, I don't know. Maybe if I'd want to show off a little bit of a, a button down underneath, mm -hmm. um, maybe like an Oxford underneath, like a, but Extra that's a layer. bit more, yeah, a bit more casual. But generally, I think uh, I like turtlenecks more just because you can have the fine ones, like the base layers, or you can have the like more elaborate ones, like a like a um, thicker fabric that maybe is a cable knit or a different pattern, like an actual statement turtleneck. Yeah. So I think there's just so much more fun that you can have with it. And I think they like those are very casual, but this can be so so dressy, and I think. It's just so nice, you don't have to worry about buttoning up your shirt, tying that tie. You look nice and clean, especially on a beautiful double wrist coat like that. Can't go wrong. Shut, some love for suit supply. So if you saw weird faces that we're making at each other or heard a noise in the background, that's a boy sleeping and he's snoring. So sorry about that, but I think we're good with the video so um, we can let him sleep in peace. Yeah. Do that, bro. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoy this little team up. Um, if you want to see more of these videos, please let me know, us know. Uh, check out Trey's channel, he's on YouTube as well. Not as active as on Instagram and TikTok, but he is active, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's short form content. Too. Yeah, so I'm a short form person. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, go head over to his channel and check him out and obviously on social media. And let us know what you thought in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon with the next video. Trey won't be here, but he'll be back at some point. So thank you guys, I'll see you soon. Stay dapper.